In this session, we will be exploring about in silico waxing designing. In silico waxing designing refers to the cutting edge approach of creating waxing through computational method, revolutionizing the traditional trial and error processes. In silico waxing designing accelerates the development process, ensuring the efficiency and adaptability in the face of evolving pathogens. These are few of the recent trends. The number one is AI driven epitope prediction which utilizes artificial intelligence for accurate identification of potential vaccine targets. The next one is immunoinformatics integration. By merging immunology and informatics to enhance the vaccine efficiency, the next sector is virus and pathogen evolution modeling. By predicting the evolution of viruses and pathogens to design vaccine with prolonged effectiveness, the next area is structural bioinformatics. By analyzing the biomolecules and protein structure for targeted vaccine design, the next one is adaptive learning algorithm. Here, by utilizing machine learning to adapt vaccine formulation based on the real-time data, the next interesting set is reverse vaccinology. This utilizes genomics, multiomics, and bioinformatics to uncover the novel antigen for vaccine development. And lastly, the immunogenomics. By tailoring the vaccine based on genomic genetic profile for personalized immunization, these are few of the bioinformatics tools that can be utilized in in silico vaccine designing. You can utilize IDB, that is immune epitome databases. These can be utilized for epitome prediction and to identify the potential antigenic reasons for vaccine development. You may also try vaccine gene when designing the bacterial vaccine design and also in predicting the predictive antigen in bacterial genome. You can also try NetCTL pan, which can be utilized for epitome prediction and identify cytotoxic T lymphocyte epitome for vaccine design. You may also try Rosetta antibody. This can be utilized for antibody antigen interaction modeling and also for analyzing and optimizing antibody binding for vaccine development. You may also try B epipred 2 which can help you in B cell epitope prediction and to identify the reasons likely to induce immune responses. You may also try vaccine gene for prediction of antigenicity and assessing the likelihood of a protein to be a vaccine candidate. You may also try glyco-EP for glycosylation site prediction and understanding the glycosylation pattern of vaccine design. Along with these, the classical PyMol can be utilized for molecular visualization and analyzing the 3D structure of proteins for structure bioinformatics related to vaccinology. You may also try protein structure prediction tools. This utilize them for generating 3D models for antigen protein studies. By embracing these trends and utilizing these tools, in silico vaccine designing is propelling vaccine development in the new era of precision and effectiveness. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavors. And if any one of you who are interested in learning these sectors can contact us for the training and project purpose. Thank you.